So today we have the DeWalt 20 volt max XR lithium ion. This is a two amp hour pack. So this is the DCB203. And this is a two amp hour pack that has definitely seen some better days. It is uh, given to me known to have liquid damage, probably way beyond repair. But since we've done the three amp hour uh, pack repair last week, I thought this would be interesting to look inside and see if it's any differences or similarities we can uh, point out if the damage is not too bad. So to save time, we'll get right to taking the board off. I've already taken the uh, screws out, so let's get to it. We'll get a little bit better look at the bottom of this board and be right back. So after we, um, we cut this board loose from the battery pack cells, we notice a very, very similar board. We also notice the corrosion is a lot worse underneath than I thought it was. The board looked very clean on top. And our little charge level indicator board is in really bad shape. But ironically, the uh, the plus lead corroded really bad on the same spot as the 3 amp hour. Whether that's coincidence or not, don't know at this point. There's only two I ever had it open. So I'm going to clean this up. See if it's any hope for it uh, for use in the future. I don't have any use for it for this pack. So while that just soaks in white vinegar, we'll see if we can save it. But I think I'm going to get this board under the microscope and we'll take a closer look at it. We noticed that our R11 looks like a 04B. And the way this board is, we can uh, look at the traces and they're routing a lot better on this board than the, uh, the three amp hour board. Can't tell if that's our same chip there or not. So these boards did clean up very well. I will put a little bit of microscope video for this board after cleaning up just to compare it as a before shot and after shot. But we do notice that um, R1104B, which is a 1.07K uh, ohm resistor, so that is a little bit different. Um, U1 is a little bit different chip also, but probably has the same purpose. I hadn't found it yet. Um, whether, whether it's proprietary or just uh, a little bit different number and scheme, I'm not sure. But at least I did save that board. I think everything checks out pretty good on it. So. And this board actually cleaned up really, really well compared to what it looked like before. We had the same issue as the three amp hour where it corroded off on the, uh, the connection on the back where it just went over to this via. But the via just simply comes over to this uh, push button so if we put 20 volts on our power supply and I do, I do have a negative lead soldered back on here and we're not going to get anything through to our positive already uh, on that out but if we just go over to this via or this terminal right here we see that we do get our three LEDs 18 volts there's our two. And at 16 and a half volts, there's our one. So I believe this board actually is working, even though it was corroded really, really bad. Before I posted this video, I come across an older version of the 20 volt max. This is only a 1.3 amp hour, so it's just going to be 1300 milliamp hour cells. But I've taken the force T10 security screws out already. But we do notice, um, not only do we not have the, uh, the battery charged indicator or level indicator board on the front, as we look inside this pack, it's actually a lot simpler monitoring board as well. It does still have the same uh, pin out. Bring a meter over here. We have our 19 volts. So everything's the same as far as uh, stepping through the cells all the way. 
back to your main. All that's the same. This battery was in the garage. It's a cooler day. Probably, it's probably about 55 degrees or so. So we own TH. We're getting about 14K. So it's done warmed up a little, looks like. So we go back to negative and look at the ID. ID was showing about 319 ohms on this battery pack. There we go. I got that lifted up. We can't bend it a whole lot because we can see our our cell monitor and wires just come around. It must go directly to the little small circuit board. Well, since I have no issue with this pack, I'm not going to try to take this uh, potting material off because it's actually a little harder than silicone. It, uh, it will come off. If I had issues with the pack and needed to repair the board, I would definitely uh, unsolder and get the power off of it before I started digging. I just simply just tried on the edge to see uh, how hard it was. It, it'll chunk come off, but uh, it's a little bit harder than just silicone. So I just thought it was interesting that the um, the older pack is a little bit different. They still utilize the pins and the ID and the temperature very, very similar here. So we can see but the way they tie it in, it's actually harder to get to that board. But just to look at the little bit different uh, variations in the same same 20 volt max uh, platform. And interestingly enough, as bad as this pack looks, all of these cells check to be about 3.6 or 3.7 volts on them, except for this very front cell. It actually, it actually is a dead cell. But as bad as they look, they actually all charge close to 3.8 volts. Hmm. Pretty tough. So that's probably it for the look inside of this 20 volt max pack. The water damage or liquid damage is so bad on this pack. I probably wouldn't have made a video on it, but I thought it would be interesting to do the, um, the 2 amp hour pack after the 3 amp hour uh, pack repair. And just see the difference in that and nothing else the id uh, the resistor and the id network um i don't know whether i checked it on video but the, the rt1 the ntc was the same so we read about 10 to 11k which is pretty typical for ntc on these type packs so i got my finger on it so we see it dropping very similar to how the uh, the three amp hour uh, pack showed so I believe it's the same board other than um, R11 I'm not a hundred percent sure if the um, 1k ohm versus the 800 ohm um, is to do with pack capacity or if it's just um, a coincidence in the board uh, revisions maybe but anyway interesting enough to mention if you like this look inside of this 20 volt max pack, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.